good morning in this session you will talk about the sequence generator transformation what is a sequence generator transformation sequence generator transformation is a passive transformation the passive transformation means we do not change the number of input rows that means is there that means two types of transformations are there act two transformation as well as the passive transformation it is a passive transformation you cannot change the number of input rows and then it it is used to generating the primary the primary key values here what are the primary key values here numeric sequence of values here what are the numeric sequence of values for example if you want to generating the sequence numbers 1 2 3 4 so for the particular um, a target table for the particular target table you are using the this sequence number here the sequence generated transformation has the two output ports what are the two output ports here one is a current value other one is a next value here the current value indicates the the always showing that the next value plus 1 if it is a the value the um, uh, incremented value equal to 1 the next value that means the next value indicate that in order to getting the loop value that for the purpose we are using the next value you have a three different values are there one is a start value incremented by end value the start value for example i am taking the start value 1 and the incremented by 2 that means you are going to incrementing the 1 with 2 that means 1 plus 2 the value here is a 3 next value in this case here is a 3 and then the next value the current value in this case 3 the next value you going to get the next value current value plus 2 that means 3 plus 2 5 next value in this case repeating the loop value that and finally you have a final value end value in this way you have a different values are there here how can you executing the sequence generator transformation process then the number of steps for performing the sequence generator transformation in informatica first open the vmware here the vmware what are the vmware that means informatica you are open the vmware software and then creating the folder how can you creating the folder by using repository manager the repository manager is a one service by using this service you will creating the folder the repository manager are always maintaining the which type of data it's maintaining the metadata here next click on the uh, um, the informatica source table analysis and target table analysis for performing done by the uh, designer here click on designer service then the designer service we are going to create in the source table for example i am taking the source table as the employee table and then target table how can you get the target table the target table consist of m emp table plus sequence number column cmp table plus sequence number column the next step in this case you have to add this target table to the scart user how can you add this target table to the scart user by using just click on go to targets under the targets you have a generate and execute generate and execute button is there click on that generate and execute then you will add the target table the next step in this case sequence generator and then after the sequence generator you have a start value one i am taking start value and then rest of the property you are using and then okay, and then finally you will creating the sessions as well as the workflows as usually previously and then how can you execute that one by taking the vmware click on vmware software yeah open the vmware under the vmware you have a this information is there click on repository manager yes click on repository manager add that means username scott password tiger you will add the username scott password as a tiger and then click on creating the folder the folder name i am taking as a program 9 okay the next important task in this case verify that one program 9 existed or not yes it is existed next go to the designer services click on designer service and then connect to the admin admin scott tiger 
and then click on connect and then open the program 9 program 9 folder click on program 9 here we will identify the program 9 and then connect to the RIM Rama database uh, and then Scott username password tiger connect if you connect the Scott user you will have the different table here I am taking the EMP table yes I take the EMP table yes I took the EMP table then go to the target warehouse designer go to warehouse designer under the warehouse designer we will generate in the target table different ways by using databases or importing databases or creating the target table already you discussed it, creating the table or drag and drop from the source table i am taking the drag and drop from the source table as a target table why because i need all information as usual all information from the system that's why i am taking the target table yes this is a target table i am taking in the source and a uh, uh, warehouse designer the target table i am changing the name yeah i am going to changing the name rename the target table yes i am renaming the target table here we have a different columns are there different related information is there yes i am going to rename rename uh, changing the rename as a for example target or p6 you may use any name target p9 p98 or any name you will use any name click on that one p8 target p8 yeah verify that one whether table existed or not for that one Scott, Scott and Trigger, yes, connected database, select star from target P8. Yeah, table does not exist. Table does not exist now. Next important thing in this case, connect the table to the Scott user. For connecting table to the card user target under that one you will generate and execute okay here verify that one it is existed or not creating one row seek for generating the sequence number you will use a sequence generator that's why sequence number one extra column i am taking sequence number yes yes this sequence number okay totally nine columns are there generate and execute that means you are going to add in this table to the Scott user. Rama, Scott, Tiger, connect. Yes, you are going to connecting this table to the Scott user. Verify that one, whether the table existed or not. Select star from target P8. Yeah, target P8, yes. The table existed but no row selected that means i did not place the any row in a target table now going to designer part mapping mapping under the mapping create a mapping we are going to create in the simple mapping for example p underscore mapping and then drag and drop source and target table now drag the source table yes and then target table now you are going to create in the transformation source table this one source qualifier with the source qualifier next transformation create a transformation which type of transformation you are going to create in giant address not account here sequence generator sequence generator transformation give any name name conflict any name and then create create yeah previously discussed the um, sequence generator transformation having the two values one is the next value other one is the current value the next value indicates the next going to generate that value current value indicates the is this value current uh, information drag and drop next value to the sequence number 
drag and drop sequence number and then remaining values uh, see so employee number employee name all values uh, drag and drop from the source qualifier only next value i am drag and drop from the uh, sequence generator and then validate this mapping and then save this mapping validate and save the next important task in this case uh, next okay mapping validated uh, okay we have mapping validated next go to the workflow manager next important one go to workflow manager after validating this one go to workflow minimize this one go to workflow manager in this workflow manager you are going to creating you are going to executing your program connect to the admin start and pa password tiger yeah connected admin go to program 8 click on program 8 now you are going to creating the sessions as well as the workflows first you are going to creating the session uh, how can you create in the session go to task developer under the task developer you are going to creating the session go to task here you have a different tasks are there what are the tasks here session is a one task um, another one command is another task and then email is another task here go to task create task three different tasks available creating the session why because if you want to execute you should execute by using session only the mapping will be executed by using session connect to the mapping and then done okay session created and then uh, objects you are going to creating the different objects new i'm going to creating one object the object name p8a let us assume username scott password tiger yes and then oracle connect click on okay next create the another one another object p8b p8b username that means these objects connected to the session by using using the session having the source and target table the source and target table connected with these objects create okay two object created now connect these objects okay you're going to click on the uh, session and then source click on the value the uh, what is an object p8a let us assume p8 p8 a click on p8 a and then target one uh, for the target apply okay next target what is the target table p8 b for the target i am going to apply in the p8 b yes p8 b yeah here is there okay click on p8 b okay okay click on okay very important one target load type is a normal why because for the target table you apply the different conditions that's why these are all different transformation okay okay you clear that one next go to task warehouse designer under the warehouse designer uh, not warehouse, workflow designer under the workflow designer we're going to creating the workflow create workflow yeah you created one workflow and then drag and drop the session here drag and drop session and uh, connect this session by using link task link task connect session with the workflow yeah connected next validate workflow validation yes it is a valid workflow next save this workflow go to repository and then save and then next important start this one start workflow yes succeeded both are succeeded yes you will see here you will result you will see here only or you may use somewhere else this is a result related information yes both programs succeeded you will see the result here sequence select star from the previously not having any target related information target p8 yeah it will have the sequence number also set line size 100 yes select star from 
target eight target p8 see here difference there is a sequence number is there starting number 1 and then ending the related information existed the sequence number that this is a sequence generator transformation in this way if you for the any table you will generate in the sequence number you will see from here also result you will get the result from from the mapping designer from the mapping also you will get the result here click on this one yes this is a sequence number yes in this way you will generating the sequence number the very important one sequence number is a passive transformation it is a passive transformation 